chapter 1, Mishnah 5, Rabbi Yehuda stated in the previous Mishnah that the rabbinic chametz prohibitions take effect in two stages. A. Eating chametz becomes rabbinically prohibited at the start of the fifth hour, for example, 10 a.m. B. Other forms of benefit become rabbinically prohibited at the start of the sixth hour, for example, 11 a.m. Rabbi Yehuda cites support for this view from a practice that was observed in Jerusalem when the temple was standing. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. Rabbi Yehuda said further... Two disqualified chametz loaves of a tolda offering were taken the morning before Pesach and placed on the roof over the row of benches on the Temple Mount as a sign for people to see. As long as both loaves lay there on display, all the people knew that they may still eat chametz. When one loaf was removed at the beginning of the fifth hour, for example 10 a.m., they knew that they must suspend their chametz, which means they may not eat it, but they are not required to burn it. When both loaves were removed, for example, at 11 a.m., all the people knew that they must begin burning it. A third opinion about the deadline for eating chametz. Rabban Gamliel says, Ordinary non-sacred chametz must be eaten the entire fourth hour, for example, until 10 a.m., and not later. However, chametz that is terumah may be eaten until the fifth hour, until 11 a.m., because terumah may not be destroyed unless absolutely necessary. And we must burn all chametz, terumah or not, at the beginning of the sixth hour, 11 a.m.